Welcome back to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. In this episode, we are going to look at cloud lists. Now, cloud lists are an online feature, so you will need an internet connection, but they are easy to create and manage. You can either do this in the software or directly on the website. So let's have a quick look at creating a cloud list. First, we just have to right click on cloud lists, add a new cloud list, and we can name this whatever we want. We can always edit the name later. So I just chose my list select OK, and you'll see my list shows up in the cloud list folder. So now we need some music. I'm just going to grab five tracks, drag them over right into my list. If I click on my list, you can see that those five tracks have appeared there. Now this is where cloud lists get really cool. If we go to the website, and we're logged in with our account that we're using, the same account that we're using for the software, we, we see we have no cloud lists and no subscriptions. So if I refresh the page, my list appears. So we can click on it, and you can see the five songs that we added are now on the website. Now this cloud list is considered public since we made it in the software so anybody can see it. Now if we wanted to make it private, we could just click on edit. We could also change the name. So we could just add cloud list, I guess. We can go to our privacy settings, click on private to make it private. We can also add a picture and click on that to upload the picture. The picture is uploaded. And if we decided that, you know, we didn't have our DJ software in front of us, but we wanted to make some modifications to our playlist, we can always click on the add a new song, little plus button in the bottom corner. Type in an artist and a name. And then just click on the little save icon and that adds it to our cloud list. Click save when we're done. And now we have the cloud list is not visible to others, so it's private. We've got our picture and we now have six songs instead of the five that we added in our software. So the other great feature is we can browse all cloud lists and we can see all the different cloud lists that are available for public. So this is great for somebody that may be a hip hop DJ and they're going to be doing their first wedding. Here they have wedding songs that they can pick. Uh, top pop songs of 2015, we can click on this, have a look at it seems to have a lot of popular songs, we can go over to the subscribe button and just click on subscribe. Now, if we go back into the software, go to cloud lists, right click, select refresh. We now have my cloud list, which is the name that we edited on the website. It now has our other song that we added in. And we have the top pop songs of 2015. Now the icons are similar to Genius DJ or Shazam where you have the magnifying glass to give you a chance to look up the song. If you have Content Unlimited, this works fantastic. You can still look up the song without a Content Unlimited subscription, but they will only play for 30 seconds if you're not subscribed. Also we have these icons that are over top of the magnifying glass. They're a little blue hard drive that shows that the file is already in your database. So we can grab the file and we can actually just load it to a deck and the file will load automatically. Now, if we don't have something, we can right click the file, select look up and content unlimited. In this case, net search audio will give us results that we can either right click and cache or drag and drop to the deck to stream them online. Now, for whatever reason, if you subscribe to a whole bunch of cloud lists and you want to remove some, you can always right click in the software on the list and select remove this list. That will also cancel the subscription that you subscribe to on the website. If you're the creator of the cloud list and you delete it, it will also delete it from the website. If you have any questions or comments about cloud lists, please leave them in the video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.